episode 101 baby uh well we got a little surprise for you today uh we were gonna do this for the 100th episode some scheduling stuff came up um uh, but we are super stoked to get this collab going we've yeah. been uh wanting to do this for quite some time and y'all been asking for for quite some time so without any further ado i present to you stiff socks and tiny meat gang god, god damn. damn oh shit <laughs> oh shit <laughs> Cody, do you remember we went to Tender Greens randomly? Yeah. I, I was sitting by myself coming to record this, and then you were in line, and I saw you from across the place, and we're like, trying to fucking eat lunch together? And yeah. then we ate lunch together. So oh, yeah. that was, that Guys, was that's official. We, we had salmon together. We did we have grilled salmon. salmon together, and it was it was great. I had a great, we had a great conversation, and I really enjoyed myself. Dude, I fucking love Tender Greens. That's where all uh, people should just uh, become unity as one. Didn't you run into that like couple that was like making out tremendously at Tender Greens? And oh you yeah, were furious. Yeah, in uh, in Sino, there's a couple making out at a Tender Greens. Which look, yeah, if there's ever a place to make love, it's Tender Greens. There's something in that salmon. Um, <laughs> so, anyways, to <laughs> backtrack. <laughs> Noel, we connected through Twitter a while ago when we were both mm -hmm. just doing stand up and yeah. I was working on all deaf digital still and then you were and you were like, yo, can you come help me film this? What was that for again? Yeah, so that was man, you realize that was like that was like six years ago, maybe. Dude, this was seven? early. This was before I was even like really like I think I was only doing I was only focusing on stand up at this point. We both were and Vine was sort of peripheral. And yeah. we were just like, ah, uh, yeah, we're just both, we were both trying to figure it out kind of thing. Hold on, we're what the was the brand deal for? What was it? You said it was well, I, I, have to, I have to say, I have to say this, me and Trevor were, even then we were trying to shoot on DSLRs. We were the only nerds trying to do shit on DSLRs for right. mine. Right. Um, but no, so the brand deal was for Sally Bong and they still exist. It's a, I've shown you this thing, Cody, you've seen this shit. Sally it's that, look it up. Sally it's Bong? That, it's that bong. It's that beer bong that runs through a, a mannequin body. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Which is just a frat guy's wish come true. Oh, yeah. Hold on. You have to, hold on. You have to buy a mannequin to get this Sally bong? Nah, nah. Yo, they, what? They do that part for you. Yeah, it's a two for one deal right here. That's pretty That thing neat. is, honestly, man, that thing is, is, um, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty exclusive. It's like a supreme drop whenever it comes out. They only do so many. Yeah, there's only so many mannequins in the world. What are they fucking yeah. go to like Nordstrom dumpsters and be like, yeah, you guys need this anymore? Yeah. Why do you want to chug through a mannequin? Have you ever seen I how mean, hot a mannequin is? I'm down. Yeah. Okay, it's like kind of like a body shot, but like with a yeah. hard plastic. You ever, wanted a, <laughs> you ever wanted your shot tainted with vaginal juices? I think that's just yes. every frat guy's dream. They're like, if I yeah. can't get a chick, I'll make a chick. And then they're just yeah. a porcelain girl in front of them. <laughs> I think, I don't know what the appeal of just drinking off anything but a cup is when you're just like a dumb college guy. Cause it's not fast enough. Yeah. You ever yeah. seen that TikTok of the dude that drinks a Corona and he like kisses it and then licks it up the side and then <laughs> <laughs> no. he, does the he does the tornado oh, shit? I've seen people do the tornado thing. That's wild. Um, That's drinking, but way cooler. You it's know? also just like, just drink out of a can and shotgun it. Like drinking fast out of a glass. That's just, maybe I'm just jealous because I can't do that. Do you have, I you think have, it's innovative you have, and it's dope. You have, issues, <laughs> you have issues chugging? Is that like a big? Yeah, I can't. One time I tried to, because like you ever been in a chug off and you're like yes. the last guy? One time I was chug just off. I was just, oh yeah, you know, white people hometown shit. So I just <laughs> Oh, I got a story. I got a story for that. Oh, Keep going. I, I, I Man, this, this is like, I have to be honest, this is like a level of white that I don't understand. <laughs> like, I mean, you see the ripped drinking jeans, bro. And I, beer this is just, and. But I, was, I like I get it like conceptually I get it but I've never I've only ever observed these things but I've like never... when I was in high school you asserted your dominance by chugging your flip cup faster than everybody and I wasn't fast <laughs> so I would chug water at home to try and be faster <laughs> and then I just had to pee a lot and yeah I it's, not it's just it's just odd that a literally a girl like back in high school a girl would look at a dude who drinks liquid fast yeah and is like I'm gonna give him my pussy like family. Based on Start family. I was just I was just thinking fast. that like why does that determine the frat pecking order how fast you can inhale liquids <laughs> I don't know but then there would always be a guy who could chug like an entire pitcher and they'd be like fuck yeah Frank and then three minutes later he's puking and everyone's like we already saw you do the cool thing we don't care yeah dude he, he like chugs the whole thing and you look at him you go oh you can raise my kid as your own yeah. here you go <laughs> you're the fucking winner dude cody what was the story you said you had about that okay we were we were at uh um there's like this week in the summer in chicago where everyone goes out on boats in the lake 
And so we were on this big yeah. boat that somebody had rented. And it was a nice boat and we're like chained up in this like chain of uh, giant boats basically. And the people right beside us were these like giant shirtless dudes that were all chugging beer out of this thing called a beer stick. You ever seen one of these? It's like a giant syringe. What? No, it's no. a giant syringe. You fill it with beer and then you just go, ah, and it just fucking <laughs> I've seen those goes right through shots. you and then you shit it out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you guys seen a flabongo? No, you turn, we've seen you turn some. A, a, a flamingo into a bong. We're just, nah. I'm just telling you, we just like to drink out of anything but a cup. Yeah. Well, there's yeah. the thing. Is it Cody? Is this a Canada thing? We or no? It's an Australia thing. A shoeby? What is it called? Boot? Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. You, know, you yeah. like literally Australia, take a yeah. shoe off on stage and a you like shoey. It's just a, a shoey. shoey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Legendary. I love that. Yeah, yeah, I had to do that in Australia. It was disgusting. It was fucking hilarious because they said shoey, shoey, and I said no nope, because I don't drink. And then someone threw the shoe at Cody. And Cody oh, just, fuck. he just, well, so we, we knew it was going to happen. So our TM, he bought a pair of shoes in advance. So he came That's running out on stage smart. and he, he was, he was like, yeah, no, 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 like drink out of this shit. No, I but, drank out of my own shoe. Oh, was it your own shoe? Or, I or it was a kid that threw his shoe up. I it was even it worse. Was, it was no. so either bad. either way. Well, here's the Cody thing. had to do it and I just laughed. I just got to stand there and be like, look at our man's. Cheer him on. I did it. Everyone liked back, it, though. and now and now I have athlete's throat. <laughs> yeah, because think about the shoes. Yeah, you, you can wear suck to off nine concert. NBA players. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no way shoes you wear to a concert are the ones you want to be sucking out of. <laughs> okay, so I'm on the boat, and these guys are so high on themselves for this beer stick thing. They invented it, and they're oh, like, fuck. and they're like killing it. Apparently, they're like selling tons of them, which I don't know. You know enough to buy a fucking boat right these guys think they're the the, the shit and so and i'm a really good chugger you know like i'm i don't oh, mean fuck. to flex but i can oh i can put some liquid down my boy fast. chugs off man okay i'm a, yeah, i'll chug you off any time dude prove it <laughs> cody two chugs what i do i'll chug you off prove it right, you right now off, bro. right now yo hold on hold on i'm i'm sorry to derail this i'm looking at the beer stick right now this shit is <laughs> is this this is like a, what a you company Still yeah, this, is, this company, is what yeah. you bring to a water fight when your parents will not buy you a super soaker. Exactly. This is insane. Exactly. I you are talking and about so, when people put shot glasses on like a hockey stick, but that's not it. Nah, nah. It's like a straight up tube. Like you're just trying to. <gasps> it's like a big syringe, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and shit. So now you know how it looks and okay, oh, yeah. wow. just how pompous these dudes were. They were the biggest douches ever. <laughs> and like, you know, that's coming from a gr another group of frat guys who are also douches. These guys were like, they out douched us by tenfold and so we're like kind of getting pissed because these guys are just being assholes to us and so i was like i want to i'll do a chug off with you i'll beat you at your own game with your own fucking device you said that and to the him? guy was like yeah and the guy was like fine done but if you <laughs> but here's the thing here's the deal if you beat me you get a free beer stick <laughs> i was like fuck <laughs> yeah is this fine. a fucking <laughs> brand deal right now <laughs> I, was like, I was like it's the shittiest prize ever but i just want to beat you just to you know steal your steal a little bit of your dignity and so we're like getting ready to do it and we're like my friend's like three two one go and the guy puts it again it leverages against the boat and so he goes no hands and just presses his face <laughs> on the and it goes like this against the boat and he crushes it in literally like like three quarters of one second and i got crushed D and they just start like laughing at me and my friend's like you cheated man and we're like you fucking cheated <laughs> Bro, that's the fucking three card money of frat guys. Holy shit! He didn't He's even just... get, he didn't even give me a fucking beer stick. As, I was like, can I just get one as like a thanks for trying prize? And the guy was like, no, you can't. Oh my wow. god, man! You got three card money with a fucking beer bong. I'm dying, man. Yeah, that's you can't legendary. Beat me, what dog? did you do after that? Did you just like yeah. sip on your beer slowly after? Be like, yeah, whatever, man. Yeah fucking hate these guys that's actually how i want to did take they, the vaccine is through a beer stick whatever it is. <laughs> this is what it's gonna Into be my yeah, forehead dude. just vaccine <laughs> that's massive that's just me some guy went to the doctor's office and was like yeah that thing you're putting into my bicep right now what if that had natty light in it and they're like now you're yeah. fucking talking <laughs> <laughs> and you put it on the fucking doctor's forehead you go ah you just fucking throw it on the forehead <laughs> <laughs> look ma no hands <laughs> that's legendary dude fuck <laughs> God damn. God damn. Mr. Wallace, let me ask you a question, man. You ever played poker? I'm not very good. 
Have, so you have played? I have. Well, I have something that actually can improve your poker skills. What's that? World Series of Poker app, bro. I play all the time. It's the official World Series of Poker app. Let you play real-time poker with poker fans around the world, bro. So you're saying this is like the closest you can get without like the real like $10,000 buy-in. Yes, dude. I'm telling you single-handedly, I play this app all of the time for real. And my two relationships ago was the one thing that kept us together because we would play next to each other in bed having a goddamn blast. Hey, Michael, maybe you should have sex with her. Nope. Fucking app. Because this, this app was honestly better than sex. It was so goddamn fun, dude. I love poker. Dang. I love poker and sex. I should check it out. Maybe you should do it while you're having sex, dude. Whoa. I'm yeah. all in. <laughs> sex. Honestly, the World Series of Poker is a great way to improve your poker skills and it's free to download. F R E E. What is the goddamn holdup? Download the WSOP World Series of Poker app in the Apple App Store or the Google Play and Amazon now. And don't forget to use the promo code W-S-O-P-S-O-C-K-S. That is W-S-O-P, World Series of Poker, Socks, S-O-C-K-S, for a million bonus ships when you sign up. Goddamn. Were you on, so you got on his boat to challenge him or were you yes. already on his boat? We oh, went a, onto his yo, boat. Yo, that's a lonely uh, ass walk back uh, to oh, your yeah. boat. Oh yeah, I was ashamed. Fuck. Yeah. I was ashamed. They yeah. should have made you like walk the plank. They're like, Get, be gone, you know? Damn. <laughs> yeah. I bet that guy- Made you swim back to your boat? Go swim back to your fucking bitch ass. Man, fuck this, Man, dude. fuck this. You, but they can't you see guys you crying. Cheated. They can't see you crying in the ocean. That's terrible, <laughs> dude. I can't believe they didn't give you a beer stick. I mean, if they're gonna embarrass you like that on their own fucking pontoon boat, like at least give you a beer stick. That's what I'm saying. Like, Just be, be somewhat of a good guy. Give me a fucking beer stick. Why did, did you, they? Uh, I missed the part. Why did you feel the need to like challenge this dude? Like, what? What was the dude? They were like they chirping were us. You? Like they were just being assholes. Oh, like word. we're okay, right. Word. Like our boats are connected, right? So oh, they're just, okay, they're right. like here, and they're just being dicks, <laughs> and just beer sticking. And I think we were like, "What is that, man?" And they were like, "Well, it's we invented it. It's our yeah. IP." I'm glad you fucking asked, dude. And you're like, I yeah, did yeah. ask. <laughs> 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 they're like, "Oh, I don't know." It's fucking full of beer, though. They just spray you with that shit. Like, you want some more pussy? <laughs> but that God. is very boat behavior. That was like when I went to Havasu. Um, they th these guys had I forget what it's called, but it was like eight. Like it looked like an octopus with eight udders on it, and they and all it, yeah, like yeah. challenged us to like drink. I don't know what it is, but like that's how Bro, you assert your dominance. Dogs pee on a fire hydrant. Frat guys are just like I can drink faster. I own all of your IP. I am your dad. <laughs> but dude, that's hilarious. That that's that's where we're at, right? Like. A fucking 8,000 years ago, we were we were killing saber-toothed tigers to like live and prove our humanity or prove our like ma masculinity. Yeah. And now we're just drinking. killing keystones. Yeah, you know? I mean, what the fuck? Like, we're pieces of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's either that or whoever has a bigger spoiler on the car, and you're like, this is the man in the relationship. <laughs> is it? A, is it a spoiler or is it the fucking? Is it the 12s in the back? What? What's Do more manly have in high school? Fucking 12s I don't. In the I don't back? think people fuck with sound like that anymore. I oh, don't. not anymore. I'm saying back when we were all in high school. Like, I oh, feel like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you guys have 12s? I mean, I, I didn't, but, you know, it, it, I, I hung out with dudes that, like, worked on Hondas and stuff, so it's definitely about, like, mods. <laughs> yeah, fun fact definitely. about me, I had a Honda Civic with two 12s in the back when I was 15. <laughs> yeah, did you? Two? I was like, six, two 12s? <laughs> so much. It was like some guy was selling them, and I was like, oh, yeah, I'll upgrade my music a little bit. It took up it's the entire too much space bass. of my Civic. <laughs> That's too much bass, it, right? Any added yes. bass in a Civic is too much bass. <laughs> any, so any of that. But two twelves, like in any car, it's just only bass that you yeah. hear. Even those boat guys would be like, "That's too much for us." <laughs> yeah, even <laughs> cigarette boat dudes. Yeah. yeah. Trevor turned that shit on and his fucking hubcaps fell off, dude. dude so it was like, it was, bomb. <laughs> no, literally, because if a car is too plastic, it just rattles. Like, it didn't. Yeah. Like, nobody heard me coming up and be like, there's the fucking dopest guy in school right there. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, turn that shit down. No, literally. I would, like, turn it down on my own because I, like, just heard a rattle. I was like, this is just embarrassing. Yeah. Plus, no girl's ever man. been like, wow, you know how wet I'd get sitting in that fucking passenger seat right there? <laughs> Put on some two chains, Big Daddy Trev. <laughs> I mean, if the if the woofers are big enough, it will create some type of vibration. So she might be able to get off just by sitting on the trunk. Oh, so thanks there, for taking my side, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, dude, I'm with you, bro. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to help you out. I had a tongue ring back in the day. You know what I mean? We're all, oh we're, my we're, God. All, we're all just trying to get some clit off. You know what I mean? We're all, we're just, all doing. Oh, just confessing shit. everything right now. Um, <laughs> Damn. Is, though, that's a genre of video that uh, a bunch of dudes that were very into cars in high schools post these videos on Facebook and it's like girls sitting in super fast cars that like have really powerful engines and yeah. like 
getting oh, off yeah. to the vibrator. No the way. Car. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And just get like off to it? Yeah. Fake. Yeah. Fucking hoax, dude. So yeah. How, it's, where, how is she? Where is she putting her clit? Like on the engine? I'm confused. No, no, no. She's just like sitting in the passenger seat of the car. She's not like full on coming from it, but she's like, just you can aroused. tell she's like sort of like, ugh, you know? Yeah. Yeah. F- fucking hoax, dude. I don't believe in any of that. Hey, man, you ever been to a dub car show? I, I have, dude. I used to go to the LA County fucking auto show. That shit would give me get. Oh my god, I loved that yeah. shit as a kid. Well, that shit just, would yeah. get me off. It's just a bunch <laughs> of hot girls like walking around, yeah, like in front of the cars. Nah, man, it's a, it's a whole it's a whole thing. It's a whole world. Well, somebody explain. Dub car shows crazy. What what is um what is it? Wasn't I mean, it like a more grounded well, pimp my ride a little bit, like more like no. Nah, I mean it was, it was. I mean dub was like TVs. was. Yeah, Dub was super focused on like pit my ride looking cars, like big ass rims and crazy ass uh, interiors and stuff. But I, I I felt Dub was definitely more oriented towards sound. So like a lot of cars just had uh, crazy ass. Oh, you know, they, they were the cars with like the fiberglass, like the painted smooth fiberglass. Yeah, like yeah, like like, purple, like the inside like of it casing. looked like a fucking Chuck E. Cheese slide, you know, with speakers <laughs> and shit was just yeah, or strange. Like a, yeah, or like, like an, an aquarium alien, without alien water. Flashlight. Yeah, like yeah, that fucking yeah. Avatar flashlight I got that one time. Yeah, yeah. Wait, hold basically. Up. What? Yeah, pause. Huh? Let me go back Dude. ten seconds. Alien yeah. flashlight. Like five years ago, flashlight sent me four flashlights, and one of them was an Avatar themed one. So, so many. You open it, it's four? like vibrant blue, and it had two clits. <laughs> it was like it's like an alien pussy. I'm so in. <laughs> I'm so in. Did That's, you ever yeah. use it? I only ate it out. I never fucked it. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Respectful yeah, yeah, yeah. gentlemen. I mean, Respectful yeah. gentlemen. <laughs> Yeah, because we had a, a girl on our podcast who actually has a flashlight molded after her, which is still bigger than any accomplishment I will ever do. But I, yeah, that's still crazy. have it. That's like to have to send somebody four flashlights. That's yeah. four lifetimes of flashlights. Yeah, I mean, dude, yeah. I, I bring it out on like special occasions. Like what? Like a Tuesday. There you go. You know what I mean? Oh, so she gifted this to you? Yeah. She after she was on the it, podcast? She yeah. like brought it to us knowing like, she's like, hey, I'm leaving. Here's this. And then we immediately were like, yeah, for sure. And then just bathroom. And it, she's a porn star, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Kendra Sunderland. It'd be a really weird gift to give someone if you weren't a porn star. <laughs> yeah, <right? laughs> just a fucking secret Santa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just a, a girl. Hey, I brought a mold of my pussy if anyone in the office was curious. <laughs> a girl who works at Jiffy Lube. She's like, here you go. You can use motor oil as a lube. Holy like, sh- huh? I'm fucking in. That'd be the best way to stir up the pot. For <laughs> showing up to the office, Secret Santa, just fucking fat ass <laughs> IT dude, bust that shit open. Hey, what's up? Yeah. It's a, it's a mold of my pussy. My husband was down. Yeah, they're like, who's what porn star is this? She's like, oh, this is just Elizabeth. What's her last name? <laughs> yeah. No, it's Elizabeth in HR. This From is her. HR, yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a, it's a white got, elephant. Every dude is trying to trade for it. <laughs> yeah, for real. Every dude low key would be like, uh, "Who wants like an Applebee's gift card?" That's holy shit. Yo, man, I'll give you this fucking a uh, hair trimmer kit if you give me Liz's pussy. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on, man. It's a really nice pen. Oh, it's like a heavy one. It's one I'll of the give nice you ones. This beer stick for half of a lick of that flashlight. <laughs> Dude who brought his wife is like pissed because he's got a dope ass. He's got like an Alexa he could trade for it, but she's right. like, oh, that's disgusting. And he's like, oh, yeah, that's fucking awful. Who would do such a thing? He it's goes, gross, oh, Alexa, dude. order me a flashlight from Elizabeth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> dude, but what is it about an office that you just literally just, you find some girl and outside of the office, if you met her, she'd be a fucking six, but inside the office, she's like a nine and a half. It's an uh, office. Yeah, bro. What is that? Bro? Yeah, work, work adds too. It's like Work beer goggles, too. but for the office, you know? Yeah. But, but it's like the little things. It's like, damn, she brings her own salad every day. Like yeah. certain things like that. You're like, you ever, gosh, she could be such a good wife. You ever see her pick up paper <laughs> clips? Uh, like, what is that? I don't know. <laughs> well, also, yeah, I don't know. It's, but that's what's weird. They'll be like, girls like, We'll be like, oh, that's my work husband. And I'm like, I don't know about that. That's a little weird. Yeah. Because yeah. then they all go yeah. out for like the, the white elephant night and somebody, you know, now there's more than one flesh like getting tossed around. Yeah. Like, okay, guys, we got to take it back a step. That's what I like to do when we worked in an office. <clears throat> my favorite was like to observe who was um, definitely going to fuck their life up at the Christmas party. Oh, yeah. right. I always hated <laughs> when couples dated who worked at the same company because I always felt like they were trying to like be seductive. They'd be like, you want to go get smoothies? And I'm like, what's that fucking code for, huh? What kind of, <laughs> what, what are you blending up in that fruit? What, what, what are you doing in that fruit Damn, salad? I never even thought about that. I mean, it would make the office day so much better if you like your wife, if you guys had like a healthy sex life and your wife worked at the same office. Like, I mean, that's a nice little lunch break, bro. You get a Nutrigrain bar and pussy, like that's a good <laughs> And a fucking nut bar. Yeah, I yeah. feel that. It is, but it's just like they try to be like low key about it when everybody knows what's happening, and they're just like, 
We're yeah. taking Thursday off to go to the Barbados. Nah, you going somewhere else, baby. I know where the fuck you you going. <laughs> Fucking your wife on your lunch break, man. I feel like that could only lead to an argument. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> like it starts cool, and then like by the fourth time, it's like, so um, why were you late today? You don't like my pussy anymore. You're not gonna CC me anymore. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I saw on your calendar you had a one-on-one -on -one with uh, <laughs> Margaret. What's yeah. that about? Yeah, what's the one-on-one? -on -one? Is she the one who gave her pussy at the white elephant? <laughs> <laughs> Honey, that was Elizabeth. How do you know that? <laughs> no, 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 no. That is, I don't know, I <laughs> That's what you say when you got nothing to you go. No, no, you just say no a hundred times. No, 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 baby, baby, it's not like that. It's not like that. Chill, 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 chill. You chill. have to say chill to a moral hood girl because that's that's when things pop off in a Burger King bathroom when she you have to go chill, 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 chill. Dude, chill. hold up. I'm sorry. I'm just thinking about like a fucking potluck and everyone's hoping Liz is just going to bring more flashlights. <laughs> yeah, what do you follow up the second year? <laughs> you can't just bring AirPod Pros and be like, this is fun. They're like, where's the fucking she, pussy? She brings a mold of her mouth. Everyone's like, oh, damn. She stepped it up. After like yeah. six years, it's just an individual pinky toe. You're like, oh, we getting freaky, Liz. <laughs> Her fucking feet. You, see, you guys have seen the feet flashlight, right? The I'm foot. so in, Oh, yeah, bro. so to catch I'm you guys so up, in. Mr. Blaustein over here, the co-host, a little bit of a foot fetish guy. So everybody oh, okay. everybody was sending him that foot flashlight. I like, got 400 so many DMs. Wait, I didn't see that. What was it? It's just like a foot with a vagina in the heel. But it's like... It's not. It's like on the top of the heel. It's like where you would, if you were to wear it as a shoe. It's like where your yeah, feet would go. That's where your foot would go. Oh, you, oh, that's like might, a sock hole. It, yeah, yeah. And but that's it's more the, of like a is it an actual hole. pussy? Yeah. It's an actual yeah. like pussy though. Yep. Yeah. It'd be you so funny if it was just like a rubber foot that you just like use to smack your dick around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just pull it up for you just for a uh, healthy. Because you can't fuck a real foot. Nah. Well, so what is that? You can. You'd be surprised. I don't know. I don't know if you can see that shit. Like between the toes? Yeah, I can see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's funny. So you can grab the top of the foot and real like, yeah, leverage that shit. It's really funny and also really hot. You know what I mean? And we'll get you banned from a Foot Locker immediately. So if you ever want to, but that's where we're at. I mean, maybe year number nine of Liz working at the office. That's what she's bringing in. You know? Yeah, bringing her feet. With air no, pop no pussy, it. just feet. Just like I'm damn. so I'm so in. E either of you have foot <laughs> fetishes, or you guys just just losers. I mean, a foot. You know, <laughs> foot's a foot. <laughs> a foot's a foot. Okay. I you I know. do not. I hate feet. <laughs> oh wow, you hate them? Like you don't? There's not. You're not even like. I don't hate. I have really bad feet myself, and so uh, I just okay. kind of have a bad impression of feet because mine just stink and suck all the time. <clears> you know. Just like bad toenails or just like bad structure or what? Bad, I like I was a I was a diver growing up, so I was always on the pool deck, and so I just have like chronic uh, athlete's foot and just and like surfing on the beach all the time. The sand just fucks my feet up, and it's just bad. It's not damn. a good situation. So now I have this horrible fungus. <laughs> Michael's like, my, oh, how bad? Let me see. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, yeah. That, that was my next question. <laughs> you they stink? Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. said they stink. <laughs> What do they smell like? Uh, yeah. What's that symmetry <laughs> like? Let me see that symmetry. <laughs> There's this. Holy shit, you symmetry. I've never even thought about grading a foot. Oh, like oh, feet that's symmetry, a thing, man. Oh, this motherfucker look me will in give the you a fucking eyes. Carfax of yes. your foot. Uh, he's like a diamond tester for feet. Bring him out. Let me see. Literally. Oh, yeah. S symmetry, clarity even, on the toenails. I ten out that, of ten. I got that little micro, the little thing you put on your eye when diamond people <laughs> look at you. Look all that. What is it called? Monocle? <laughs> Monocle? Or, yeah, I know what you're talking about. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's hot for you when one woman's both feet look the same. Well, it's not. Well, yes, of course, but also when one like the symmetry meaning like the the descending toe order. If everything is descending properly. If it looks like, yeah, if it looks like Verizon bars. Yeah, the, yeah, the singular, yeah, <laughs> shit's, whatever. Shit's hot. Just. Yes. If it looks like it has strong Wi-Fi connection, that's where I'm at. That's okay. Dog, yeah. got it. Diamond tester, but for corns, he just puts it on the big toe. Cornless. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, do you, what do you do when she's like, you're in the feet and then bust them out and then they're bad feet? I cut them off, dude. <laughs> that's when cut you the bust feet off? The, the, foot, yeah. the fleshlight foot. You I cut just their feet right off. off. I just put the, yeah, I just put the fleshlight on top of a foot. Got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the, my, I, like my honest opinion, like all funny for a second, if I like the girl enough, I'm, I'm willing to forgo the fetish. Like, dude, my last girlfriend did not have her feet look like ET's hand. They were just not. They were not okay. Um, yeah. But uh, but I liked her so much. I was like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll be okay. I'll be okay. I just won't look okay. down there. It's fine. 
but it, it is a, I just won't look down there. Yeah. You're right. She's going to put her shoes on. You're like, I, I got I to gotta look away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's the weather look. looking like today? <laughs> hey, babe, I was going to wear heels tonight. No, you weren't. Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's too hot outside for heels. Yeah, you yeah. don't want to do that. Ew, ew, why? Put on some Ugg boots for me. So would you always you, be you, 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 like you, you, babe, put on some fucking socks. <laughs> I just, her, her socks are Uggs. I just leave Uggs on all the time. Yeah. Oh, but then, then they're so, just moist. You, so you, I'm assuming you like getting foot jobs or like, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Fucking oh, a foot pussy. Yeah. But are there Dude. girls that like giving foot jobs? Is that also a fetish? You will be surprised at how much, uh, yes, the, the short answer is yes. You'll be surprised at how many girls actually really do enjoy foot stuff. And since I'm pretty open with it, um, I think they get to like relinquish their like, uh, being timid with foot stuff, but yeah, okay. there's a lot, dude. There's a there's a lot of girls who like pay baby oil on two feet. Just want me to just rail it, you know. I never thought I'd hear the words <laughs> relinquish and foot fetish in the same sentence. So <laughs> yeah, dude. Happy fucking Monday, baby. I'm a scientist, baby. <laughs> but Rel- <laughs> damn, relinquish sounds like a sex term. I'm trying to relinquish. It can be, them. dude. Yeah. What what are toes called? Is there any like more phalanges? Phalanges. Yeah. Fuck yeah. some phalanges. Well, there's yeah. a title, guys. Uh, awesome. Yeah, it's. Uh, I learned that about Michael on the podcast live one day. I was like, oh, big feet guy. And then I was just like, I, I'm so vanilla compared to that. I don't have anything. Did it change your world, man? Did you start like looking at people's feet? And you're like, oh. <clears throat> yeah. It, every time I wa- go to the beach, I'm just like, I don't, ma'am, we got to not do this right here. Dude, gotta- the beach is like my strip club, dude. I fucking <laughs> love that shit. <laughs> Horned up, man. Doesn't take the much. The beach is everyone's strip club, but for you, it's a... It's but a little I bit get, different. You're looking south. I got I got two sets of tits. Do you know do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah is yeah, there yeah. a certain kind of you so a bra kind of highlights the boob? Is there a certain type of shoe that makes the foot look better? Like rainbow <laughs> sandals? You know, you got that little worn in leather. Yeah, nah, what's the crocs? Oh well, yeah, what's is there something that like ups the foot cleavage? Tom's. Yeah, what's like what's like the lingerie for feet? I'd say Tom's. It's thin and it gives back. So it's like she's got good morale. You know what's you know what's weird. You know what I like, and it kind of doesn't really make any. Well, sense everything is weird is, at this point. Of so. course, I like a good just like white Air Force One. If she has like smaller feet, so it's like every little, girl on Instagram. Exactly. Damn. I don't know what it is about like the cleanness of the Air Force One, the whiteness. I don't know. I'm very into. But it. You, but there's not one that like highlights the shape of the foot better. Not really. I mean, like obviously, like uh, like stiletto heels and shit. Like any type of like heel, because then you get like. Yeah, but that's like propped up. It's like served. Yeah. No, but that always like that always you know, that always uh, that didn't make sense to me because you know for uh, I'm not gonna name names, but friends with feet likings. <laughs> 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 Fucking like feet in a stiletto heels like a boxer's fist like fresh out the wrap you know what i mean like it's just like the fucking toes are all jammed together like i don't see how that's sexy you know what i mean dancers like, got all... crazy feet you ever came across a girl with dancer feet yeah just they're disgusting <laughs> they're yeah. li- they're li- like you ever seen like a ballerina foot that's what i'm saying <clears throat> yeah yeah you're like yeah. I, why is there a stalactite on your foot <laughs> <laughs> something to work with more flavor if you think about it you guys have any weird <laughs> fetishes or are you guys pretty just pretty straight down the middle I just don't talk about them publicly, personally. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, that's so, a yes. Yeah, so you have some weird some shit you just don't freak okay. shit. This is the second th- time I've encountered this question in a week. Like, what the fuck is Jesus trying to do? Like, who else asked you that? At Jivy Loops? Uh, you guys like, no, I was, you doing I, was, I was streaming on Twitch and fucking Michael O'Priore from Vine was like, oh, yeah. He was saying the same thing. He's like, dude, I'm a vanilla guy, man. Do you have any like crazy fetishes? And I was like, um, no comment. Like I just left no it. Comment. So you do. You just you're not gonna talk about them. What's up, man? Listen, Mike. <laughs> tell us more about your feet. <laughs> My personal feet. I got nice feet. I got de- yeah. What you know? Whatever. Descending toe order feet. Yeah. yeah. You gotta have good feet if you want good feet. But here's the odd thing. If you ask me this, mm. you've asked me this question multiple times traveling on the podcast. It's like I don't like when I don't have a thing where I want girls to play with my feet. Like that's not a thing. I'm like I'm not into. Mm. But there's a lot of like there's a lot of dudes who <laughs> you like don't want to a girl to suck your dick and they just. Take a second to suck on your toe. Honestly, you if you phrase it like that, you walk me through like that emotionally, I, I'm kind of into that. She's like, <laughs> I'm, I might be, I might be, I might be, that might be my new fetish. We might have to take a five minute break. My man is horned up I'm over horned here. Up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what, there's something really hot about a girl. This I got to walk you through this visual. A girl giving you a foot job, she leans forward and she starts sucking your dick and her foot at the same time. Does that hold make up, sense? Hold ew, up, ew, up. man. What? <laughs> What? Ew. What the fuck? 
That's definitely you've definitely been fucking some dancers with that shit. <laughs> what are you even talking about? The same that foot, is crazy. foot in the dick on the same hole? Yes. Yeah, she's doing what like a mean? some kind of that's, like that's so absurd. Yeah, I, I, I call it the that's double so whopper. <laughs> the double whopper? That's like a rusty six nine or something. I'm We're fine just with trying that. To put too many things in too many holes. So hold on. Does she like you must have like does she do jujitsu? Like how does he get how does she get her foot? next to the dick is that what you're saying like she's doing yeah, like a two not, for one yeah but it's <clears throat> not like a crazy like girls are generally more obviously more uh like elastic than us so it's just like it's just like this right oh, please and then show she's, us and then she's leaned forward and then she just and then she just like sucking like a baby that would, that would be <laughs> she just pulls it up like a baby she's just sucking her toe like a foot eating her foot like a baby just that's a hundred percent so imagine that and then my just dick and like in between the feet like kind of like a i call it a double whopper <laughs> God damn. Mr. Wallace, whenever I talk to people about why they don't go to therapy, they always say it's too expensive. Too pricey. But let's have some real talk right now. How much do you spend on your daily coffee or another swimsuit that you don't need? Is that stuff more important than your mental health? No. With Talkspace, you can take care of your mental health without dipping into your savings account. Guys, I am a big advocate for therapy. Obviously, I talk about it all the time. Like the reason that I feel sometimes that I am I am more balanced than other times is because my therapist gave me the skill set to be able to live day to day. 2020 was one of the hardest years of everyone's life. And without therapy for me specifically, I would have been a mess. I've been wanting to do therapy for a while. And honestly, I don't even know like where to kind of start. So with Talkspace is neat because it's a great entry level. It's, you know, it's, it's a full service thing, no matter how much you need. But it's also like if you're curious and you want to like dabble in it, yeah. uh, you can sign up online or download the app. Start therapy the same day with a licensed therapist for a fraction of the price of traditional therapy. Depending on the plan you choose, you can message them. You can schedule live video sessions with your therapist. You'll pay the same amount every month. So it's it's easy to budget. So guys, listen, talking to my friends is just wildly different than talking to a licensed therapist who has the experience and knowledge to give me practical guidance. Talkspace gives us the support we need at an affordable price. And as a listener of this podcast, you get a hundred bucks off your first month with Talkspace. Huh? Hundred dollars, baby. Think about that. Hundred dollars to better your mental health, to match with a licensed therapist today. Go to Talkspace.com or Download the app. Make sure you use the code SOCKS, that's one word, SOCKS, to get 100 bucks off your first month. Share your support to the show and show some support to your gosh dang brain. Yeah. You deserve it. That's SOCKS at Talkspace.com. God damn. A That'd be something if I was whopper. scrubbing through if I was scrubbing through a porn video and I all of a sudden landed on that scene, I would just turn that shit off. I, I would <laughs> see you turn off, out. I would come at that moment. You that's, would turn that's it the up. difference between us. <laughs> that's when I question myself, how did I get here? This moment wow. or watching no, 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 the, the porn? The porn. <clears throat> oh yeah, of course. Well, I clicked it, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah That's course. how I got there. But but yeah, that would like make me turn the porn off in general and just not just not finish. You know, just go just outside. What am I doing? <laughs> Have you person. ever done that? Have you what? ever started with you know obviously trying to relinquish the the demons and then you just like kind of gave up midway? I don't know. Yeah, I did it the that. other night where I was just like, no, I'm better than this. Really? It was easy. <laughs> if it's midday, easy. Midday, you hear like fucking leaf blowers outside. You're like, why am I blowing my own dick right now? I gotta, <laughs> I have emails to get to. Dude, I've, that, that to me is like cooking an entire meal and then not eating the meal. It's like I'm starving. Leftovers. It's like you're edging yourself. Of I, yeah. course. You blue ball yourself. That's why you're just in traffic, just pissed off in the 405. Yeah, you know, that's crazy. Yeah, it motivates me. That's my coffee in the morning. I feel like literally that's some entrepreneurship where they'd be like, I jerk off not to jerk off just so I can jerk Yeah, I feel like off. Gary Vee would tell you to do that. Okay, let me ask you this. Do you think Gary V? Do you guys think Gary V is out here banging? I don't think he has time. He's saying he probably is, but like I don't. I I, dude, what is his dirty talk like? With the way his hustle is, I feel like that guy could get his dick sucked and still do a podcast. You know what I mean? I just feel like he like pencils it in. Like his calendars, like meet with Bethany. Oh, definitely. His sexcapades are G Cal invites for sure. Yeah, Yeah. right. And if you're late, (laughs) game's over, dude. Him just like, yeah, I just want to get on a call. Just to make sure everything's cool. Um, we'll love to connect next Wednesday. And that sex is horrible. Yeah. You got to check in on an yeah. iPad when you get there and you get a little name tag. Yeah. It's like, Gary, we'll see you now. She's like, oh, this is fucking weird. <laughs> yeah. There's an assistant just, being like, so, yeah. how was your day? You're like, don't. He's just small talk. Yeah. 
I know. He's why just I'm talking here. the whole time. Oh my God, so nice to meet you. I have a podcast in 15 minutes. I just got to gang get this one out. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's got to be a weird like outro. He's like, I got to go talk to 10 million people who are fucking losers and need my assistance. BRB. <laughs> <laughs> He he fucks with an egg timer for sure. Like it's like we are we are oh, in yeah. we are out. But yeah. as soon as that shit dings, if he egg comes, timer. it doesn't matter. Egg timer, we're we're done. Uh, oh, hundred percent. Holy yeah. shit! So I was like, so do you want to get breakfast? He's like, I only eat off my success. And he's like, that's not healthy. It's not a well balanced diet. He just got. He's got like a little owl with fucking numbers on it and shit he's, he's like, like hey siri set a timer for 10 minutes all right let's go <laughs> oh, yeah i i honestly like general. hold on alexa set a timer for 10 minutes <laughs> sorry <laughs> proceed with sorry. the foot job yes he's like oh, oh. you want to see something else cool alexa what's the best sex move <laughs> how do oh, i have wait. sex yeah. <laughs> what if it turns out he's just been blue balled his whole career and then that's the day he retires he finally Ain't, nuts bro no way no way. But here's Gary the thing. Vee's so many sucked. <laughs> so <laughs> many successful people have one ball. I would not be surprised if he I has can, one ball. Really? Yeah, I thought, dude, I thought Hitler, it was. How do you know that? Hitler had one ball. Mussolini had is one ball. Hitler successful? He's not a though? dictator. But Lance Armstrong. He is to a certain degree. Yeah. He's a dictator to the millions of people that are like, I'll do anything that he says. Like, he's, he's a dictator that way. <laughs> what, you know what I mean? So what do you do if you have one ball? You're just like, all right, time to fuck shit up. I think you have one ball and you're just trying to prove to everyone that you can, that you have two. You know what I mean? Two ball energy D is big. <laughs> I'm trying to have that two ball energy. We're out here dude. every day living with two ball energy and not even knowing it. That's what I'm saying, dude. So I should run Bro. for Congress. Or the Senate. That voice too? Mike this did is the craziest voice I've heard in my <laughs> entire too. life. Man. I was wild. I'm blown the fuck away. Do that Which again. one? This one? <laughs> yeah. Are you are you guys referring to this one right here? It's a it's a uh, well yes and no. Well, I honestly yes and no. <laughs> I you could do so much cool. Have you ever ordered like through an inner like a drive through with that? No, but it's like, I forgot my credit card home. Like, ah, oh, this kid's fucking poor. Give him a free burger. Uh, excuse me, do you guys take a Cash App or Venmo? What do you, you need you need to utilize that voice some more? So, sometimes oh, if, I, if, if I'm very oh. comfortable with a girl, I use it. I'll, I literally uh. use it like just kind of fucking around during sex. I'll definitely <laughs> during sex. Yeah, we'll like, use that during sex. I'm like, yeah, take it. Oh God, it's so good. And then I just go back. No, what? <laughs> wow, your oh, feet dude. are so symmetrical. Oh, I can't breathe, man. <laughs> She's Holy like, wait. Shit. So hold up. You want me to jam my foot in your mouth while you talk like you're fresh <laughs> off Willy Wonka? Dude. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, that just it's like sounds Porky illegal Pig. to do that. Dude, it's like Porky Pig if he lost his speech impediment, dude. I'm <laughs> crying. How did you realize you had that voice? Dude, I don't know. All the voices I can do, I, uh. I've been doing since I was like 10. I don't know. Oh my God, weird. man. You should oh go to a guy at a bar. God. Challenge him to a fight and then do that voice and see I, what happens. I, no, yeah, man, no. you need to. You need when when outside is back open. You need to go to a bar and only do that voice the whole time and see what you get away <laughs> and just, with. And just see what happens. But like yeah. drive a Lamborghini just to really throw people off for a spin. Yeah, and the guy comes up and he goes, he goes, what do you do for a living? I'm like, I don't do anything. And just drive away. <laughs> the TikTok guy. Oh my God. Uh, you got to pitch your sex move, whatever the double whopper was. Yeah. Double whopper oh yeah, in that voice. Yeah. Well, <laughs> This one, Let me I explain what I Joe like. Whopper. Yeah, pretend there was a girl here and explain to her the whole the foot and dick move in that Give voice. I'm sorry, I just have to hear it, man. Well, what 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 you, what you gotta do is you, you you have to you have to pretend that you're sort of like a pretzel, if you will, and uh, you have to lean forward and sort of press my penis together with your feet, sort of like a panini, kind of like a panini. Uh, and you keep pressing and, and, and apply pressure to my pee pee, right? And then what you do is you gotta lean forward as if you're trying to put the uh, airplane seat up when the stewardess says we're about to land. And you kinda lean forward and then you put your chompers right on my pee pee and your pinky toes. And go. That just, that sounds illegal in every state ever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God, man. That's like the same voice you hear a kid trying to tell a shitty story at the airport to his mom, except that's yeah. not a story you'd ever hope to be telling your mom. Uh, but you can legit shit, fuck man. with people like that. Say again? Dude. You, you can fuck with people like that so much. 
Oh, oh yeah. my God, man. Oh, <clears throat> that's so funny, man. That's like the voice of like the sex ed Dora the Explorer <sighs> reboot. Like, that shit is crazy, <laughs> man. That's a million dollars in the can, dude. You guys need to animate like a third character on Stiff Sock. You need to animate like a cum sock with that voice as that part of the show, man. That does sound like an animated cum sock. Yo, that yeah. is, that's it's a great idea. Such a good Holy idea. Holy shit, man. That is money. I'm sorry. We you know, sorry, just derailed the whole thing. I, I love apologize. It. There's man. probably voice actors out there that would kill for that voice. Like, God, he's so fucking good at that. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever auditioned? There's a fucking dude doing that voice in the car. And he's bombing. He's, he's like, not I can do good. it too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he writes in, call me, guys. Have you ever auditioned? For I that can voice? be your cum sock. <laughs> That's where we're at in Hollywood where somebody's like, yeah, mom, just got booked to be a cum sock. Which yeah. one? The left or the right foot? I don't know. The one you come in. Huh. Uh, it's a oh. job, mom. <laughs> it's showbiz, mom. You wouldn't get it. Have you Holy guys had shit. any, uh, have you guys ever had any like just like industry shit when you first moved here? I mean, you were kind of both popping already when you like moved here. Do you have any like ridiculous just shit you're like, look back on, you're like, why did I do that? Um, jobs, yeah, or just like acting yeah. jobs where you're like, oh, this will advance me to the next level. <clears throat> uh, yeah, yeah. You guys seem so sad about it. Yeah. You guys, you guys I'm trying like, to think. <laughs> I'm just thinking. Yeah, I know I've definitely done weird shit. I did. <clears throat> Cody's like, I sucked this girl's toe one time. Yeah. Oh well, that's um, a goddamn but it was from right there. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think, like. Definitely the Sally Bonk shit was was funky as hell. I don't know why I did that. Looking back, would you be That's able to like so find funny. that? Would you be able to find that ad if you like dug it up? <clears throat> I literally just recently got rid of it. Was it on oh, Vine? Wow. It was on Vine. Yeah, it was on Vine. How did you even get rid of it? Do you email them and then? No, I. Is there um, an email at Vine? Well, still? at first, well, you know what's funny, dude, Cody. You don't even remember this when we first met. I was like, ah, oh, Cody would love this shit, and I tried to give it to you. And weirdly, you were like, ah, oh, that's. It's kind of weird. And then Sam, Cody's friend, was like, do you have that thing? I'm like, yeah, this was like later. Okay, I tried yeah. to give it to Sam. And Sam said, ah, I, I can't take it, man. I'm sorry. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? These are the only frat guys I really know. And they won't take this shit. <laughs> nobody, this wanted this, nobody wanted the Sally bong? <clears throat> is it the thing that we did? Uh, we used in the No Flex video? That mannequin that? Yes. Or, oh, okay. And it was in the studio for a while? Yep. Oh, okay. So I've been mm -hmm. around it. You've been around it yeah, for sure. Yeah, I know never. it's energy. Yeah, we never. <laughs> that thing looks like it's super expensive because it because it comes. It's pretty it comes expensive. With it's like ninety bucks. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's, it, that it, price it, is actually not bad for, for a mannequin beer bong, and the though, beer bong. Like, yeah. Well, especially if you're on frat guy diet, your brain works in like thirty packs. You're like, that's like twelve natty lights. Like that's 30 hilarious. Packs. Yeah. You're so right, dude. It you works. just divide by like what you can drink that week. <clears throat> yeah, it worked yeah. in like fast food receipts and it worked in beer receipts. Like that's how you. Yeah. Like, oh, if I do this, I'm not gonna be able to eat or not gonna be able to whatever. Yeah. That's yeah. So hilarious. Yeah. I did a. I did. A, I mean, it was it was cool and it was like I got paid a lot of money, but it was. I did a Ford commercial like really? within the first year of being in LA. Oh damn it! I remember this. So funny. <clears throat> what, yeah. what? What year was this? Two thousand seventeen, right? Uh, two thousand yeah, two thousand seventeen, I think. And did yeah, they book you 16. because you were like Cody Co. or because you just fit the like they look you look like what they wanted? <laughs> no, I, I didn't. I, I didn't audition for it. I got it. Oh, it's great because like through my manager, through my agent, they were trying to cast. Uh, like influencers or something like that and so i did right, it with like right. four other people and um and i had to leave i was like still working full time and so i had to leave i had to take the day off to go shoot this thing yeah and uh the the line that i had to say was like i got the line the morning of and the line was um i ordered turkey dogs <laughs> i was like, You're like i took fuck? off I took off work for this, guys. You understand, yeah. That, right? Yeah. But I ordered the turkey dogs. I was like, <clears throat> yeah. what even context would I ever even say that? What does that mean? Yeah, and it like was like an I was aquarium. Yeah, we were no, we were at a deli, and I was like ordering hot dogs, and the guy gave me the wrong kind, and I was like, I ordered the turkey dogs instead. Because we and they made me say that this, line like what fifty think, times. Yeah, yeah. that's a very uh, Ford Ford owner thing to do is order a turkey dog. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And right? the I director, for, uh, the director of the commercial was the one like watching me do it, and the Ford directors were around the store behind the cereal, like their video village was like I couldn't even see it, and so yeah. they were like this elusive like other party that was actually like the the word you know the final word on whether or not I was gonna like make the final cut, and the director Did kept coming up to me. I'd say I ordered the turkey dogs, and he'd come up to me and 
and be like, that was, that was great. I'm gonna go check with the, you know, the suits. Yeah. And he would go <laughs> yeah. and then he would go talk to them behind the cereal. He would like duck out and then come back and be like, why don't you try it like this? And so I did it like 50 fucking times. Say, say, I've never said that sentence in my entire life. And I had yeah. to say it that day 50 times. And you still like have night terrors thinking about that moment to this day. Yeah, had, like. just giant turkey dogs. Every time you see one. I forget, did it make the cut? It made yeah. the cut, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. you bet your sweet fucking ass it did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Luckily, it did. I had one of those moments. I did this MTV show that got cut, thank God. But it was like Wipeout, but it was like more bro-ish. And you just had to do all these things. And there was this thing where I had to put a softball helmet and then a tennis racket like attached to my face. And I had to hit a, a like out of a pitching gun a tennis ball and then knock something over. And I oddly did it like out of just beginner's luck randomly. Like, and the producer was like, all right, I need you to look directly in the camera and be like, I'm just good at taking balls against my face. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> no way. I swear to God. Yeah, this, I forget what the show was called, but it, was, it, it went two episodes on MTV and I was on the 11th episode. It okay. got canceled after two, but it was called, I, but the guy was like, I just want you to say it. And then like all the camera and crew and the sound guy were all looking at me like, now's your time to shine and like with the most pain my voice is like i guess i'm just fuck better take a ball in the face and uh that was like my moment where i was like and that was like my first like essentially tv credit so yeah. i was like whatever dude like here it is and then uh it never aired yeah but god damn, damn. i'd love to see that footage did you use that credit damn. for stand-up i one million percent early on in stand-up you'll use so anything funny. as a credit which was so funny um but yeah, you can see him on an MTV game show that got canceled. I forget what it's called. <laughs> but um, yeah, I remember. I doing love that shit in stand up, dude. When they like ask for your credits and stuff, I, I should have taken more advantage of that. <clears throat> I had one show of Flappers where like just I made some shit up, and like oh, they yeah. said it, and I was just dying laughing to myself. <clears throat> like, bro, you didn't even question any of that. <laughs> oh, oh, dude, yeah. I, early on, I said some shit, completely lied, and the host would say it, whatever. And I remember one time I got off stage, and then literally the fucking the, the comic that was too uh, that was going to go on in two goes, "Oh, you're on Comedy Central? What show?" And I was like, uh, the, uh, the one where I uh, told South Park. Uh, uh, and I just like, I, I don't even know what the fuck I said. I just like stumbled for like a minute straight and then just like walked away. Yeah. No, my ever, shit ever. was like, I, I didn't like do like, uh, like accolades like that. I think I told the dude I'm like a, a pro tennis player and like oh. a former gang member or something. Yeah. Was, I just like said something really juxtaposition. I remember he said that shit and someone in the audience was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Did you hear that, honey? <laughs> This guy's got the third biggest cock in Santa Fe, New Mexico, ladies yeah, and gentlemen, Brett Trevor coming. Wallace. <laughs> but it's like, they don't even know what you're saying. Or, or yeah. when people are like, hey, can you promote my dog's podcast that's coming out in 2023? Yeah. And they're just like, this doesn't matter. Wait, Trev, do you remember that show you put on at, um, what's that fucking yacht club in Santa Barbara? Ventura uh, Comedy uh, Club? Yeah, Ventura Vent Comedy Club. V yeah. You Ventura put on that Harbor show. Club, yeah. And we had all eaten shit that night. Do you remember this? Oh, no. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Yes, yes, yes. It was like you got up. Oh, And then fuck. the crowd was like tight as nutsack. And then I got up there and I'm like, oh, this crowd's tight as shit. I'm just going to fucking... I'm just gonna try to go off script here, and it bombed horribly. It was like, <laughs> it was like a lot of blue collar like Mexicans and like and and Latinos, and and they just did not think any of that shit was funny. That they was, want it was the, they want those like jokes you would find like <clears throat> scratched onto a bar seat at like two a.m. Like they just want like the worst and like the dirtiest jokes. Yeah, but you're like, yeah. here's a well crafted pun. They're like, shut the fuck up. Like, yeah, yeah, no. Nah. Talk about my fat wife. And you're like, I don't have any fat wife. <laughs> My I wife is none. in good shape. She, she takes really. Yeah. She meal preps. Yeah. You know how I knew that fat wife. You know how I knew that show Your was going to be bad. Your wife looks fine to me. Yeah, yeah. she looks great. Anyway, yeah, her she feet awesome. are nice. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah. What's up, Noah? <laughs> no, I was going to say I knew that show was going to be rough because there was a there was a pocket of empty right in front of the stage. You know what I mean? You know when like the crowd <laughs> fills bad. around yeah. that like yeah. six eight seat area, you're like, yeah, this is. And then they sit in the dark so they can talk shit, and then you can't talk back to them. Yeah, the worst. Yeah. And then I remember I got off stage and I went, woof. And yeah. then I walked up to you. I was like, I was like, hey, bro, thanks for the time. And you just dabbed me. You didn't even look me in the eyes. You just shook your head. And I was There's like, nothing, But like when you're running a show and you have a homie come out to do it and it's just not fun, you're like, you feel responsible for a shitty crowd. I didn't even take it that way. I was just like, damn, sorry, man. And then. Yeah, me, sorry you got to deal with this. Yeah. Yeah. I felt, I felt worse for you. I'm like, shit, you're hosting. I forgot about that. <laughs> I remember doing a, a show, Cody, you were there. We all did some open mics in Santa Monica and 
you talked about it on the uh, the Hot Ones episode. That was the joke I remember you had. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah growing my dick out for the summer. my literally only funny line. But it was like, yeah. you just like came on stage, you know, the thing about growing my dick out for the summer. And I was like, it's a good fucking joke. <laughs> it's a good <laughs> that, would, that joke would have crushed in that Yacht Club Ventura company. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, they're like, would've... you mean you can grow your dick? I'm fucking in, Martha. Yeah. And they're like, who's Martha? My fat wife would love that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, there's nothing worse than like bombing someplace far away where you, you bomb and you got to get in your car and drive two and a half hours contemplating suicide the entire fucking ride back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Was that, was that comedy worst. club in Ventura? Yeah. So yeah, you would yeah, go yeah. there do your show and then drive all the way back? Yeah, because yep. that's where I'm that's from. Rough. So like I had an in over there to do a show out oh, there. I see. But like I would promote it through like <clears throat> Facebook ads and be like, free show. And then the locals are just like, free? I could yell at somebody? Yeah. yeah. There's nothing worse Bro. when the crowd is funnier than you. You're like, what am I doing up here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there, was a, <clears throat> there was a dude who ran an open mic out, out there. It was like an Oxnard. That's what you Rent. legit, I looked at our Twitter DMs just before this, just to see like when we connect and it was literally on that. You're like, yo, I've been, I mean, that's like the hustle of stand up. You were like in 2015, you're like, I've been driving to Oxnard. This guy lets me do 20 minutes of time, no problems. And I was like, it w dude, I'm it was great. That, that open mic was fucking wild. I, <clears throat> because it was the first week I had gone the first week that he had did it. <clears throat> and by some fucking miracle, Cause it was like early on, you know, I wasn't really that sharp. I slammed. I like was to the oh, back of the yeah. room. I had I had comics like folding their shit up and putting it in their pocket. Oh shit! I'm like, this is like, and looking back, that was way too much success out the gate. Like I don't know, it, I, it, you know. And then so I get off, and the dude hosting was like, "Man, you can come here and do 20. I don't give a fuck." I was right. like, "Holy shit!" That local success <laughs> where they're like, "Come through whenever you want." You're like, yeah, oh, and then fuck. the next time I went back and there was five people in there, I'm like, "Oh, that's why I can do 20 minutes here because yeah. there's no one here anymore." <laughs> well, uh, let's get into some more foot stuff. Bring back the socks. Let's Sock talk, go. <laughs> yeah, this is actually funny. With the we had some toe sucking stuff going on earlier, <laughs> and it's uh, very relevant here. So we got a question. This is from uh, Elijah Elijah underscore Metro, and he says. Uh, <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm about to hook up with this girl for the first time sometime next week. Oh, I thought he was writing it like in his car. He's like, about to fuck this chick. <laughs> I'm right help outside. Me, help me. Uh, he said, she told me she wants to suck on my toes. Uh, I think of myself as the more dominant type, and I'm far from being in defeat, but this girl is bad, so I'm going to try it anyway. Have either of you guys ever had your toes sucked on? If so, what does it actually feel like? Uh, also, every time I think of this happening to me, I feel like I'm going to do this Steve Carell and 40 year old virgin and kick her in the face. Kick her right in the fucking face. Yeah. Wow. It's got a tickle, I've, right? It has I a got tickle. A, I got a pedicure. Which one's that? Which one's the foot one? Pedicure? pedicure, yeah. pedicure. I don't like that shit. Tickle too much. So I don't yeah. think I'd be good in the foot fetish world. I'm going to swing this question to my co host, uh, Mr. Yeah, man. Foot Fab over up, here. Mike. I mean, as I said before, I haven't really got my toe sucked, <clears throat> nor do I have uh, Wait, an really? affinity to get my toe sucked. But here, I'm I'm with him, man. I'm a very dominant person. So, like, getting your toe sucked, I would feel like a little bitch. I'd be like, oh, I suck my... I would just feel you like... You do the voice again? <laughs> 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 do the voice. Oh, whoa, that's... It's like scoop. Oh. That's how you get the voice out. You're like, yeah, yeah, suck my shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, it tickles, it tickles. <laughs> hey, <Jeez>. stop. <laughs> whoa, Jiminy Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but here's the thing, and a, a, a big piece of this uh, question, everyone, is she's super bad. So yeah, that, a super bad lady will make me drive to Oklahoma. So <laughs> you know, what I mean, what would you what would you do? What's the she, problem here? He just doesn't want to do it. I think even if she was a five, let her yeah. do it, man. I mean, I that. think just let her just try it one time. Yeah, yeah, why not? It's a dope ass story. Yeah, this girl is one of my nasty ass. Hey, you gotta do shit for the story. Yeah, yeah. The, she's happy. You're happy. Boom. It's not like that's like great problem to have. Like this super hot chick wants to suck on my big toe. What do I do, guys? Fucking she's gonna suck that toe and then come up for a kiss. <laughs> oh my god. That's how you get athletes throughout right there. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like it yeah. tastes like puma. You're like, oh god. <laughs> um. Yeah. So I think the moral of this question is you just do it, man. Because here's the thing: you do it, and you might like it, and then you have yeah. like another another kind of like skill that you're that you're into. I, I'm I, I say go for it, dude. Skill. I'm really good at getting my toes. Getting my toes like yeah. <laughs> Put that in your LinkedIn bio, Troy. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Here it says on your resume it says you work hard and you like to get your toes sucked. Oh, you're hired, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Not kicking the shit out of her. I mean, that's kind of a skill, right? Like you're not. Yeah. You know, you're so well you're maintained. So, uh, uh, yeah, you're accustomed to it. You're cool with it. Suck, suck the toe. I don't give a fuck. 
I don't know. And you I, think I, I co sign it as a skill. I think you could get your toe sucked in a very dominant way, you know? I feel like yeah, getting your toe suck sucked will. It'll make its way into yeah. rap soon enough. Get my toe sucked right now. I'm in the studio. <laughs> like, I bet you that's yeah. someone going genius right now. I bet you that's that's yeah, in there. Yeah, about to get my toe yeah. sucked. I'm in the studio. <laughs> it, it 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 only it's only emasculating like if she's like lie on your back and you're like wait what? Yeah. Yeah. And she's like right. she's right. like exactly. sucking your toe you and you're on your back. You're air. like ah. <laughs> you got to make them beg for it. How much yeah. you want these little piggies, huh? Tell yeah. me how yeah. much you want these little piggies in your mouth. Yeah, yeah. are these piggies going to the market or your fucking mouth? <laughs> yeah, <exactly>. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Send these piggies to the car wash, bitch. I fucking love yeah. you. <laughs> There's something about throwing a bitch in there that just just makes everything more dominant. You know, because yeah. it is. You could be like, I'm making your bed, bitch. And then all of a sudden it's dominant. Even though you're yeah. making your bed. It's a bold term. Yeah. Uh, Gabe, um, we got another one? Yeah, let's do another one. This is from... Uh, F-A-A-S Christensen, who says, uh, is it weird for me to have sex in the front seat of a car while my friend with a broken foot sits in the back seat with no cell phone service and just has to try to play music loud enough so that he doesn't have to hear us fucking? What kind of fucking <laughs> Pornhub title did you just read? Yeah. No, honestly, run that one back one more time. So right. let me picture this. He's, yeah. what, wait, he's, what does a broken foot have to do with anything? I think I, it just means he can't, can't suck out. on he it. He can't go walk out of the he car. Yet. You can't yeah. suck on it. It's off for suck to it. <laughs> so wait, hold up. He's in the front seat? Yeah, having sex, and his friend is in the back seat with a broken foot and no cell phone service. Who's driving? Why is Uber? his friend in the back seat? Yeah, yeah. who's driving? Why are they, are they sitting still? This is the worst SAT question I've ever heard. <laughs> That's all the context he gives. We don't know anything else of that. But we just know that in this scenario, the friend is stuck back there with a broken foot and no cell phone service. Why don't you drop your friend off at his house? What type of shit friend is it that? It sounds like a form yeah. of torture. Yeah. 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 It sounds like the producers of 127 Hours were like, now make it a porno. And they're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's, it's just a weird scenario. Having sex with somebody else, it sounds like there's daylight for sure. Because also, <laughs> like if it was night, just sit outside of the car. It just sounds like the PG version of Saw or something. Like, yeah, right. You want to play a game? Like, take yeah. me home. It's Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, this this just sounds like uh, just an example of a shitty friend, bro. Just like yeah, right. You, you could also just ask Ronald to get out of the back seat because first of all, they seem pretty young, so it's like they're not going for forty five fucking minutes. So yeah. Ronald in the back seat, he can get out of the car and like kick a rock around for six Break minutes. Break the other foot. Yeah, yeah. There you go. yeah. I think you take her out of the car and. And fuck her outside, man. Okay, that's another option. There you yeah. go. Stop being so selfish. And then selfish. afterwards, you sign the cast with your cum. You know, maybe yeah. that's a tradition. <laughs> you, you can fuck her while standing up, and then it's also a taunt to the kid who broke his foot. Because if you're doing it on the car, then he can hear you, and you can be like, look at, and we're standing. How sick yeah. is this? Yeah. Two, Two things walking you can't around do. now. Yeah. yeah. I'm fucking and standing. And then a guy in a wheelchair rolls by, he's like, I get your pain, man. This is <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Dang. I think this guy was just trying to flex. Like, yeah. I don't think he needs advice. I he think knows both of these doing. have just have been flexes. They really are. Hot girl wants to suck on my toes. I've been having too much sex this week. What should I do, guys? <laughs> this bad bitch wants to suck on my toes, dude. What would you do? <laughs> <laughs> We're all just like very concerned from. Don't do it, man. Stand your ground. Um, all right, let's do some. Yeah, uh, secret suck. So this is anonymous. Anonymous confession. Yep. Probably uh, more bragging. Yeah, so this is uh, an anonymous listener who says, uh, I had a dream that my uh, that my friend that I have a crush on had a vagina on her foot and I had sex <laughs> with it. I woke up, uh, it was, oh, and I woke up and it was a wet dream. <laughs> and then she brought Damn. it as a white elephant gift. Damn, happened, he just right? came out of this shit like Frankenstein, just like, Duh. <laughs> 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 and then just started his day. Um, yeah, yeah. That is a that is a really gnarly way to start your day, man. Yeah, what, maybe like before going to bed, he like was like watching porn, and then was looking at like Foot Locker, and then like his worlds just collided, and then just like woke up and just I don't know. Or that's just, cra that's crazy to nut in your friend's foot in your dream, and then do a walk of shame into your shower. You know what I mean? Like the dream isn't over. Yeah, it's also a wet one, right? So you didn't have to change your duvet and yeah. think about how you nutted as you're changing the duvet. Like, yeah, like yeah. reconsider. And if you got roommates life. and shit, they're like. Like, oh man, you want to throw something in the wash? You're like, hey, chill no, out. Uh, don't yeah, yeah, you can put it. I'm doing. I'm doing whites right now. We can just put it in with. Put it in with me. Here, let me take it. I'll grab yeah. it. Here, just give me yeah. it. Yeah. Mom, 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 mom. He's throwing mom, gallons mom. of bleach in there. <laughs> um, wait, so he wait. It was his friend's foot. Yeah, his friend that he has a crush on. Or it was his friend who he has a crush on. Oh, 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 okay. And he fucked her foot. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, it's true. I sometimes have yeah. some sex dreams about weird shit. Oh, yeah, you guys, yeah. or is it just strictly just normal? Yeah, I do. I normal like sex it, stuff. 
No, I think you're up there. I think everybody has those. Or you're like, this doesn't make sense. And then you're like, oh, we in one of those wet dream worlds. Yeah, it's, it's just it's weird. Like you're like fucking Abraham yeah. Lincoln and then you take like Lincoln's mask off and then it's like your cousin. <laughs> and you're like, what is happening? Why, what? Where is this? You lost me at Abraham Lincoln. Uh -oh. No, 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 no. Come on, guys. Wooden, <laughs> Internet. wooden dick. You guys get it. It's the same thing. The last thing we got was your fucking Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> take your mask off. And that's I mean, it. I was like, that's pretty much where, it. Where, where, what, what next? I was, I didn't finish, man. Come on. Where was that going? A little slower. Uh, yeah, I think that's the direction Pornhub is going to go after all this. Step bro and step sister stuff is out of the window. It's now just political figures. Yeah, I mean, they, so. dude, they lost like 15 million yeah. videos. So they many gotta, videos. They got to do something. So many videos. Well, um, dude, they had. Oh, they got some bad political shit on so, there. I don't even want. Wait, was, did they wipe all this stuff off because it was all like? <laughs> did they what, wipe like, all this stuff off? Hey, come, like, yeah. <laughs> come, come. come. Uh, like, what did they, they delete from they Pornhub? Like, all any, the sketchy videos that aren't yeah, legal? Any video or that shit. wasn't, okay. like, from a verified account. So. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. That's a but good they, thing, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very good thing. Yeah, yeah it helps them in the long run. But they lost, like, 13 million videos. A lot of porn. Where does it go? The cloud? Yeah. iCloud? Who has it? Here's the thing. We There's so um, much porn. We could just stop. Like we don't the need FBI. to make any more. <laughs> yeah, we don't need to. Like make we're any done. More. There's porn about everything. Like we don't. Yeah. Do we need new stuff? We'll get there. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, bro. What 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 happens when we find the first alien? You know, like we, well, there's we, a whole bunch of COVID porn. There's gonna be vaccine porn. Yeah, you I'm know pretty what sure I mean? there like, is COVID. There are porn. Gen, you know. Yeah, there's definitely yeah, COVID. Nah, porn. but you know, it's it's just gonna continue to just follow know, along. There's with gonna the be like COVID role play. Turns out yeah. one of the side effects of the vaccine is it makes you super horny. That's yeah. literally a line you will hear within the next year, I feel like. Yeah, here's yeah. The, here's, yeah bro. Here's the vaccine. Guys, <laughs> girl gets vaccine by beer stick. <laughs> 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 Yo, is there beer stick porn yet? Let's look Total. that up. Has to be. Let's go, dude. That's <laughs> our ticket, if not, dude. We, gotta produce it. <laughs> we found our gold. I'm gonna hit up my boys. Hollywood. I'm gonna tell them, yo, I, I got the next marketing play for you guys, all right? <laughs> Beer stick full of frothing <laughs> cum. From the makers of beer stick, it's beer dick. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, God. Um, well, guys, we the really appreciate you guys. We really appreciate you guys hopping on. Hell this yeah, has man. been something we wanted to do for a while. Of course, man. Thanks for having us. We get so many DMs being like, get fucking TMG on. Um, so it was super dope hey, to have man. you guys on. Hopefully, uh, you guys had a good time. And uh, Of course, I laughed yeah. my ass off, man. Yeah, it was great. That was great. Fuck yeah, Loved dude. it. I'll see Other you guys at Tender that, Greens. Fuck yeah. Tender Greens, check out uh, <laughs> check out all their stuff, their podcasts, obviously. Noel, you got a new show if you want to plug that. Uh, oh, yeah, you know. Um, yeah. <laughs> we'll send 13 views your way. So Yeah, man. Go check, check out, out Noel's lives, channel. Bro. And uh, yeah. I, fucking, I converted lives. a desk into a car, man. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking tight, dude. You know what you need on that desk? Two 12s. All right. Yeah. Put yeah. yeah. Put in the subs. All right, guys. Hey. Um, well, appreciate you guys for hopping on and uh, course, talk to man. you guys soon. Thank you. Sounds sure. good. Peace, All right, man. guys. Have a great Peace. day. I got <laughs> Holy shit, guys. That was insane. Uh, you guys have been asking for it for so long, so I'm so happy we finally had the uh, uh, ability to give it to you. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And as I always say, guys, go rate, subscribe, and review. Uh, it really, really helps us out. And uh, thank you guys so much for being part of this community. We really appreciate it. Uh, have a good day or night, whatever goddamn time it is where you are. Uh, we love you and bye. And thank you for Cody and Noel for stopping by. We really appreciate your time. And see oh, yeah. you guys next week, next Wednesday. <clears throat>